good. Hi, I'm Carrie, and we are in a new place today that we've never tried, which is going to go along with our topic. Don't be afraid to try new things. <laughs> and Rebecca's not with us. She is doing vacation Bible yeah, camps yeah. this week, so we are without Rebecca. Yep, but good for her and Lane. Her and her husband both are doing that. They've committed to doing um, it's a church camp, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah, they're church camp. Here now for, for children. Yeah. So, hey, Rebecca, we miss you. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to talk about doing, uh, don't be afraid to try something new. So today, we are going to try Spinelli's. It is a new pizza place. I've heard it's fabulous, too. Yeah, down um, here on the square in Murfreesboro. Yeah, this is close to, uh, it's on Main Street, close to the alley, and close to the Exchange Boutique. Um, yes. So, um, anyway, we're going to try it. I walked past the pizza while ago. Did y'all see it? No. It looks no. really good. Okay. Especially, like, I'm a sausage pizza person, and, like, their um, Italian sausage really good. So we're going to try it. We'll let you know. But anyway, what, what have you tried today lately? Oh, oh a new business. Know. A new business? Yeah. You switch, you switch. Yeah. yeah. You can't be afraid to change jobs, that's for sure. Yeah. You never know when a new opportunity is going to present itself. And sometimes you just have to put yourself out there. You have to learn how to um, fly very quickly sometimes. Right. Adapt. 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 Yeah. yeah. Be like a tennis player, like which way I got to go. <laughs> Because life's more fun that way, more interesting. It is, it is definitely. I think yeah, people get in a rut a lot of times in so many areas of their lives, whether it's their their career path, the clothes they put on every day, the foods they eat every day. Yeah, how many of us yeah. cook the same meal like three times a week? We go to the grocery store, we pick up the same, we get a ground beef, we get some chicken, we get the green beans, we get the broccoli. Like we don't venture out. We're all guilty of that. Absolutely. Yeah. Same outfit, same clothes. I'm really guilty when it comes to cooking. Certain certain cuts, like flank steak, for example. You can make great flank steak, but I've never bought it. Don't Me either. I'm I don't know how to cook it, so I'm so afraid to I just buy, buy it and mess it up. Yeah, I do. I'm like you. I'm, I'm, I don't know enough about it. So, perfect reason to change things up because you broaden your talents, your value. Um, when you try new things. Talking about food, I got an air fryer at Christmas. Oh, how do you like it? Oh, it's yeah. fabulous. I've been trying all sorts of new foods in it. I mean, you know, it, it cooks quick, but somewhere in between a microwave and an oven, I think, because it still makes things crispy, but it crisps on both sides. So I've been yeah. trying new recipes for that. I also got an instant pot, which is like a quick pot. So I've been trying new things in that. Well, you are being adventurous. I, was, I wouldn't pick that up. I would be like, well, I don't know how to use it, so I'm not going to do it. I know how to use a blender. <laughs> so I'm right in the middle. I bought an Instapot eight, nine months ago, and it's still sitting in the box. It's actually in my garage now because uh -huh. I'm afraid to bust it out and use it. Well, that, both of those were gifts <laughs> from my other new thing I'm going to try, which is marriage. Ah. <laughs> my fiance got this for me for Christmas. So adding a new person to the house adds a lot of new things. New That's recipes. Yeah. New yeah. way of doing things. New organization for the house. Suddenly the garage is important, which I throw a bunch of junk in. Now it's getting more, more, more and more organized every day. Well, good. Because we do so many things. The way we drive to work, we go the same way all the time. The places we go to eat for lunch, which is one reason I wanted to come here. Right. You get those like, let's go down to Toots. Let's, you know, which Toots is yummy. But you get the same things. You take the same path to work. You go meet the same people for lunch. So it's so good to venture out. It's it, it, it does, and um, this is one thing that I think about. I think a lot of times we pair up the same wardrobe items and the same accessory items with what we're wearing on a day in, day out basis. I catch myself doing that all the time, and then sometimes it's a great idea to just have a friend, or you could even get like a personal shopper to go with you. Have you ever gone shopping with your husband or your spouse, and he'll go, "Put this on, honey. Try yes. this on." Billy picks out my tennis shoes now yeah. because I'll go and I'll pick out the most mundane, boring, whatever. Or at least not mundane or boring, but what you always pick out. Yeah, right? yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So to me, mundane, boring. Yeah. And he'll come over with something I never would have picked up. Yeah. And I put them on, kind of, you know, like a child, walk around in them and see how they feel and look. Yeah. And before I know it, I'm in love with them. Hey, that's a good idea. But I do it myself. Yeah. To have your husband say, this is what I want to see you in. This is what I can, yeah. you know, dress. My husband's done that before. He'll order me a shirt. My favorite, one of my favorite shirts you love. I love that shirt. He ordered for me without me even knowing about it. So that, yeah. that's cool. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. You know, but try something new. This is what I thought of when I thought about this topic is when my kids were little, 
when they were really little and eating like table food, no matter what I would cook, I wanted them to eat well. So I would always like, if it was broccoli, if it was asparagus, rutabagas, whatever, I, and they would say no, I would be like, what if it tastes like ice cream? <laughs> that would be what I would say, what if it tastes like ice cream? And they would try it. And so they both were great eaters. They were, you know, that's fantastic. They, they, they eat, things. yeah, they try anything. So, you know, just whatever it takes to kind of, you know, bring new things into your life. I remember one time too. I, I, I'm like scared of, not scared of, but I grew up not loving water. And so I wasn't someone. My dad had to push me in a pool to teach me to swim. So I just wouldn't get near it. So our family all planned a whitewater rafting trip in Montana. I oh, literally great. was having panic attacks about it because I just didn't like the water. Well, my brother had died the year before, and he was such a, like, he'll do anything. He was fighter fighting with it, you know, see, all that fun stuff. And so in his honor, I did it, and I'm so glad. It was thrilling, it was exhilarating, and now I'm hooked on it, but I would have never tried it. That's right. You know, a lot of times people, they do something like skydiving the first time, maybe for my monumental birthday, a 40 or 50 or 60 year old birthday, a few years ago, some friends of ours, um, two ladies, their birthdays are very close to each other, so they did a skydiving wow. excursion for their 60th birthday, and I thought that was pretty cool. Are they hooked on it now? I don't know if they're hooked on it. Well, I'm not sure, yeah. but, but they loved it. Yeah. They said it was a fantastic experience. Scared to death. It makes you a braver person. Yeah. It just gives you more to talk about. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Sure, sure. sure. Something uh, I wanted to add. We don't have Rebecca here for our uh, yeah. um, help tip, but because you talked about water, I wanted to mention water safety, which is a, Ooh. a really concern, a real concern here in the summertime. Sure. I grew up on the coast, so we, you know, we started taking swimming lessons by the time we could walk. Everyone is taking lessons. I don't think people think about that so much here in Middle Tennessee. You know, we've had some yeah. flooding issues over the last week. Um, That's a great point. Late, Very good point. you know, it's late season. You and I, we're all big boaters and, and late people. So water safety is super important. Wear the life jackets. It's a it's a requirement for anyone under 12 years of age, if you're on water, to wear that life vest. Absolutely. Do it anyway. You know, there was an incident here with the flooding at Cummings Falls. You need to have a life vest on your kids always. They're not old enough to make that decision. If, well, if especially you're if you're on the lake drinking. Yeah. Because we were on the lake one July 4th on North Hickory Lake, and all of a sudden we saw the boats and the coast or whatever, the guards coming in, and they were looking for a guy that their friends were saying they, he fell over and hit his head. And, and the, you know, I don't know if it was anything to do with alcohol or not, but he never came up. He didn't survive. So that's sad. Yeah, and people, don't, people think the only unsafe places in the ocean, well, lakes, yeah. you know, swimming pools, but we're talking about swimming pools. Right. But the, the crazy weather we've had here lately, we don't like that song. In the lake, I mean, you can't see. Sure. You can't yeah. see. It, it, you know, you can't see under it, find somebody. Good point. Yeah, yeah. So, um, anyway, want to make sure you understood Spinelli's on the square for pizza. That's where we are today. So, um, try something new. Go somewhere different for lunch coming up. That's yeah, right. that's right. You got a quote for us about trying I do, things? I do. And it's really not, um, I don't know if it's so much about trying new things, but um, I love this one. Doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. So, if you have a doubt, just get that doubt out of your head and go for it. Just right. yeah. take a leap. And you know what? In most cases, you're going to be really, really excited and happy that you did, whether it's skydiving or yeah. trying a new outfit or trying a new food for your family, new, new cooking technique. Yeah. That's Do a, it. I, I like what you're saying. Doubt kills more dreams than fear ever would. Because if you doubt and you don't do it, how could it, how could it ever succeed exactly. if you never even tried it? And failure, you learn, you learn from failure. I always think about Dave Ramsey. I don't, you know, we have a lot of Ramsey fans here in Middle Tennessee. And he called bankruptcy twice. So his program is about teaching people yeah. not to let that happen to you because he knows very well how it can happen. So. Yeah. This is a very old quote that just came to mind. But it's, it, you're, in that case, he's failing forward. You're not yeah. failing and sitting down and quitting. He's not. And we should never do that. You're going to fail no matter what you do. Even if you sit still and do nothing and stay stuck in your own routine, that, that in, an, in its own way is a sense of failure. So get up, brush yourself off if something doesn't go well, and fail forward. Try Just keep something. doing it. Okay. All right. Try something new. We're about to. Y'all have a great week and soar.